What's up guys? We are hunting elk here in Colorado for the fourth season. I have never done a late season rifle tag before. I'm hunting here with Lauren from Good Bull Outdoors. Yesterday was actually the first day of the season. I had family commitments and stuff like that, couldn't hunt, so I'm here on day two to hunt with Lauren. We got access to this uh, this ranch. We are stuck on the, the smaller, flatter portion of the ranch, while another group has the better southern portion. Once they tag out, then we can slide in there. Uh, but we are after elk. Lauren has a cow tag, a bull tag, and then he has a buck tag for mule deer, and I have a bull tag for elk. So we're gonna see how many tags we can fill. Let's get after it. All right, so as the sun's coming up here, me and Lauren are just driving the edge of this property. So far we've seen a pile of mule deer, nothing worth shooting yet, but Lauren's getting some footage of a group right now. It sounds like he sees a decent one, but just uh, kind of getting the lay of the land, seeing what we have to work with here. It's a little chilly out there. Best buck we've seen so far. By a long shot. Big three by three. Splits in the back that are pretty good. He's a nice buck. I like how he's boxy. No elk still, just a bunch of deer. But this is a pretty nice one. We got a pistol back there, Lauren. <laughs> if you're feeling sporty. <laughs> He's nosing her so hard. Oh man, she's, yeah, she's smelling good. Yeah. Let's uh, let's keep seeing what we can see. Let's I, I wanna... See what we can see? Let's find some, let's find some elk. Lauren says day one pass. Day one pass. He's a stickler. Two by three, a forky and a spike. And where the f is the big one? That is the question. Forky's like, I am the big one. Ooh, that Forky is nosing that doe. Oh, man. Oh! So, tons of deer this morning. Have not seen a single elk covered all of our private ground there is to cover. Went and checked a bunch of public stuff. Hunters everywhere, no elk. Tons of deer. And the deer are getting in the danger zone. They might just get it here before too long. <laughs> our tr trigger fingers are getting itchy over here. Oh, man. We found a, a good little four-point. Um, and a, a good three point. So that's what we've seen so far. Tons of deer, just no huge bucks just yet. Nope. He's a four by three. Four by three? I thought he might be. Looks a lot like, uh, oh, he likes her. I'm ready whenever you are. Ready. Look at her posture, Asia. Oh, you film it? Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh, look at um. The five by five is afraid of the fucking four by four. The one closest to us is looking for a brawl. Mm hmm He is bigger bodied. <laughs> so we got out to stretch the legs and walk these hedgerows and freaking porcupine. Look at this guy. Look at him. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> so we went back and found the 4x4 we found earlier today, and uh, we're going to show you what we're looking at here. Lauren's pulling up the uh, Tacticam here. Moral dilemma. We got itchy trigger fingers. We want to kill something. But it's day one. If we haven't seen any elk. We're getting bored. <laughs> what to do? There's the doe. No, that's a buck. Maybe that's him. Yep. 
That's him. Little five by five. Little five by five is about to get the dust. What's this one from here? Far he's he's going over that hill. Fortunately, I can't range through the glass, but I'm going to guess. Yeah, what's your guess? 580. We guess seven. 623. You telling me I missed it by 43 yards? I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he likes her. She's spinning around. She's like, get out of my personal space there, guy. He's just dogging her. He's like, I think she'll give up soon. All right, morning number two. Last night we found a really nice buck on public land, but Lauren's mule deer tag is PLO, of course, so we couldn't shoot it. But we found a bunch of really good coolies uh, for elk hunting on the public yesterday, so we're gonna probably go check those out at some point today. The sun's coming up right now. We've driven the perimeter of the property we have access to, no elk on it. I mean, obviously we're hunting migratory herds, so the hope is that overnight, some of these elk have moved onto the property. We show up and they're there, right? Well, this morning it doesn't look like anything has moved on to our, our private piece yet. So we're going to go check out some deeper draws within the property and then probably go hunt some public later today. And Lauren's got a mule deer tag burning a hole in his pocket. So Oh, man, is it? <laughs> that uh, four point we found yesterday might just go get the hammer today. We'll find out. So we bailed off on that mule deer. He's gonna be there. He kind of peeled around and went around the hill. We don't think he's gonna leave that hot doe. So for the rest of the day here, while we still have decent light, we're gonna go and try to find some elk and find other deal on the rest of the property. So we're hauling around to the other side right now. Wait for him to stop. We can always try to get around on them. Can you get me something to rest on? Lay prone, dude. The angle's too high for the damn hill. That angle's too high? Oh my, I got it. Yeah. Do you need a range? No. Are you sure? Yep. They're coming our way. But I 
hit one? Which one did you shoot at? One in the middle. Nothing looks hit. Okay. Do you want to range? Down, one's dead. Got him. Got him? Yep, got him. That cow on the bottom, you might want to hit her again. She's standing there, she just fell on the bottom. Down on the bottom? Yeah, she's down. Good shot. Yep. <laughs> hey, hey! Hey! Good shooting, Tex. <laughs> 650? 650 yards? One it's shot? 650. Woo! That was a poke. Wow. Well, let's go get her. She's. We're gonna have a hell of a time finding her, dude. Yeah. Woo. No oh. bulls in there, huh? What's that? No bulls. Uh, only spikes. Spikes and cows. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Good shooting, buddy. <laughs> hell yeah. Oh man. It sounded like we, a hit. We found this uh, side of the ranch. We were kind of just checking these little draws, checking these little draws. We came up over the top and I was like, elk right there, don't move. They were at 600 yards kind of facing us. We get out of the truck, check. I got my pistol ready even. And uh, no no bulls in there, I have a bull tag only. Lauren's got a bull and a cow tag, so. A cow tag accomplished. 650, he laid down prone right in front of the Jeep here and shot. The Jeep, they, all the, the elk cut back and the one I saw, I just filmed her, she fell right in the sage there, so. Heck yeah, one elk down. Yeah. Let's go try to find it. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. I mean, the best thing is I filmed so it so we can look at the... They were in that light colored patch when I shot. Yeah. Did she peel down? Yeah, I can look back at the footage and see exactly where she okay, fell. perfect. Well, let's go ahead and drive down to the corner. They're on that nice little vertical stretch on our property that we can hunt. So that's, God, they're the perfect spot. And the other things in front of them that were running were mule there, so there's no more elk in here. But yeah, hell yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go. There she is. Right here. <laughs> Look at that shot. How'd we do? Oh, baby, that didn't get much better. <laughs> I'm surprised she <laughs> made it as far as she did. Oh, man. Look at that shot. Dude. Look at that. Right behind the shoulder. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. God, look at the size of this cow. That is a big, healthy cow. Oh, that's a big cow. Holy. Holy cow, man. She didn't have any calves with her. Big old fatty cow. Big. big Congrats, mama. buddy. There it is. Congrats. Oh, November. Three hundred wind mag. How far? Six forty. Six hundred and forty yards. That's a poke. Hit her perfect though. Absolutely perfect. Good shot. Right behind the shoulder. Heck yeah. While we still got good light, we're gonna go keep hunting around. You know, around one or, you know, probably one, two when it heats up a lot, we'll come back here and process this, you know, process this elk. So we're gonna go keep looking while it's still good. So we came back to check on this big buck. Oh, Jesus. They hide good in this sage. We came back to check on the buck that we found this morning and left to go find elk, which we ended up getting a cow, which was sweet, but... We came back to check on that big buck and we have not been able to relocate him yet, but there's one more spot we think he might be. It's more mule deer poop than I've ever seen in one spot. The whole ground is just covered in it. Me too. Nuts. The other one? We just found that big 5x5 five five buck that we found earlier today. He's sitting down below us. We're going to go stalk around and get on him. Let's go. We better go, man. They're walking up the hill pretty fast. Right there.
Uh. You need a range or are you good? No, I'm good. Should I stop them? I just need to turn broadside and stop. They're feeding away, that's the problem. Yeah. Can you see him? Yeah. He's standing broadside still. See him? I don't. Same spot, hasn't moved. Problem is I'm having trouble making out antlers. So he's the one on the bottom. There's three of them together. He's the one on the bottom. Right in the middle of the yellow stuff. See what I'm saying? I got Got five him. deer. Huh? I got five deer. I can't see which one's him. He's on the bottom of the three. There's three of them standing together, right in the middle. He's on the bottom. Now he's walking up. See him? No. Middle of the yellow oh, grass. Too far over. Yep. Yeah, now he's standing behind that clump of grass. Yeah. Facing to the left. Is that a decent shot, you think? Yeah, I think so. If you feel comfortable, just get your breathing Gosh. down. Now he's moving left. I'm cramping. What's the distance? It is exactly. I'll do the distance, don't worry. 500. 500. What time, what time is it? You got plenty of time. It's 54. We still have 15 minutes. He's on broadside right now. Right? Yeah, you're sure right. Do you want to dial? <clears throat> yeah, maybe so. What did we say it was? 520? 515. 515. So that's about... Inches away. Hold on, I got it. Five fifteen. Are you pretty solid? Yeah, I'm pretty solid. All right. I just need him to turn. Yeah. Come on, there he, he is. is. Stop. <laughs> just over his back. Nope, he's hit. Is he? He down. Down? Yep. Hell yeah. Nope, he's hit. Is he? He's down. Down? Yep. Hell yeah. Wait, no. Yeah. <laughs> I just need to get the distance right. <laughs> I never saw him go down. Yeah, he's down. Hell oh, yeah, dude. That's a nice buck. That is a nice buck. Nope, he's, he's running straight towards us. He's straight towards us. Yeah, down to the right. Oh shit. Hit him again. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I see him. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. He's close now at 100 yards. Behind the bush. Hey, wait, wait to move, wait to move. He's coming right, he's gonna run us over. Yeah, he's coming right this way. Alright, he's, he's going down right there. He just bedded down. I just watched him bed. Yeah. Come right, come this way. Left of this bush. See him right there? Yep, do, you, do you want to hit him again and shoot out this tripod? No, he's not. He's head up. He's head up. Cool. Good shit. Dude, that's a nice buck. <laughs> Here.
Here we go. First look at the buck. He flipped for a second ago, so be careful. Dude, that's a nice buck. He's down. He's down. That's a nice buck. That's not bad. Ha <laughs> ha! Not bad at all. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was awesome. Got a mule deer down and a cow elk down today. One heck of a day, huh, Lauren? Oh, yeah, that was a nice buck. He, uh, he gave us the runaround for a couple of days. Yeah, he did. And uh, he was bedded down in the very bottom in the sagebrush, and we were able to pick him out, and uh, fortunately, turn him back up again in a spot where we could get to him, and uh, even a spot where we actually have a road about uh, 30 yards from, from where he ended up at, so. So we got some light after dark here, courtesy of our headlights, which means low pack out, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. And, uh, and snow for the downhill, so he'll sl glide right down to the vehicle. So Heck of a deer, perfect. man. Heck of a deer. He's a nice buck. He's yeah, nice and wide, decent mass for a, for a prairie buck like this. Yeah, good floor. A little, bit, a little bit weak back here, deep, but real deep on the front. He's nice. And brow tines. And brow tines, which, which is always a nice little addition. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll call them five by five. We can probably, probably get an inch out of each one of those. Heck yeah. Nice little buck. All right, Lauren's getting to work on the cow behind me. Just want to take a second and say thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Other than that, if you guys uh, liked what you saw, make sure you click subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.